go. Realer than most podcasts. With Corey Thomas. With Corey oh. Thomas. Just here to motivate and give you the real. Let's go. Let's go. It's a lot of things in life that, that I'm just not going for. I'm not going for it. I'm not walking around hungry. Poverty got to see me. Like I'm, I'm not walking around, but I'm not, I'm not walking around poor. I done already made up my mind. That's not happening. I'm not walking around lacking anything. What will you go for? Cause I'm not going for it. I'm more than capable, more than capable. You are more than capable, more than capable. Stop being lazy. Think about ways to make things better and then execute. Think and then execute. I'm not going for it. What will you go for? I'm not going for it. I'm not walking around lacking knowledge because I have the ability to study. I have the ability to learn and I will take full advantage of that ability. I'm not going for it. No excuses. No exceptions. Get it done. Do what you have to do until you're in position to do what you want to do. Think about it. Do what you have to do until you're in position to do what you want to do. It's a difference between boys and men. Boys do what they can and men do what they want. Be a man. Be the woman. I will die on my feet before I die on my knees and I live by that. I live by that. So you can't come to me with a shady deal and expect for me to take the shady deal. I refuse to. I'm not going for it. I'm not going for it. I don't deal out of weakness. Never deal out of weakness. Never. Because whenever you deal out of weakness, you're making decisions that you normally wouldn't even think about making. So never deal out of weakness. I will also never back down. I will never back down. Because I know, I know I have it in me to get it done. I know I have it in me to rise to the occasion. Never back down. I won't point the finger. I won't blame you. I'll blame me. And I reiterate that over and over again. Because there's so many of us out here pointing the finger. It was his fault. It was her fault. No. It's your fault. You could have did something different. I could have did something different. Let's stop pointing the finger. I will win. I will win. I must win. I have to win. Let's win together, y'all. Fight. Fight for success. Fight for abundance. Fight to be the best because it's worth it. You are worth it. I am worth it. Anyone tell you otherwise is just being untruthful. Long as you can continue going, you're worth it. You become unworth it when you stop. Never stop. Never stop. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong and stay dangerous. And I urge you to stay dangerous because when you're being safe, no one has to worry about you. But when you're being dangerous, everyone has to worry about you. So be dangerous. Be that person that everyone has to worry about. Be dangerous. We got to stay live, y'all. We got to stay live. It's no time to sleep. It's no time to sleep. My dog just told me, when you tired, you got to push through. When you tired, you got to push through. Just because I'm tired, it doesn't mean stop. And in, the, in a lot of our minds, we think tired means stop. When I'm tired, we oh, oh, I need to get rest. No, that's not always the situation. We're not going to stop until we win. I'm not going to stop until I win. I must win. I will win. These have to be words that you live by. These have to be words that you're governed by. I must win. I will win. It's a mentality, y'all. It's a mentality. And I take this mentality everywhere with me, everywhere, regardless of what I'm doing. I must win. I must win. A dog going to be a dog regardless of where he is. 
in it, it doesn't depends on it, it. It doesn't matter what the room is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what room it is. You can feel my wrath in whatever room I'm in. You can feel my energy in whatever room I'm in. Make people feel you. Make people feel you. And it's different between making somebody feel you and making somebody fear you. I don't want anyone to be afraid of me, but at the same time, I, I definitely want you to feel me and know where I'm coming from. I want you to feel me. Because when you feel me, you know you can't approach me any type of way. You can't approach me with foolishness. Because you already know, first quarter, I'm not going for it. I'm not going for it. That's why I'm going to make you feel me. Let's make, let's make them feel us, y'all. Let's make them feel us. We not going for it. Anything that I have the power to turn around, I'm not going for. I'm not going for it. I will not settle on a job that I feel like is beneath me. I will not settle. But I am grown. I will do what I have to do until I get in position to do what I want to do. That's the position I'm striving for. I'm striving to be in position to do what I want. But it's a process. You're not just going to jump out there and get in position doing what you want to do. You definitely have to earn your stripes. Earn your stripes. You may be doing something right now in your life that you're not happy with it. You feel like it's not for you. But you know what? That's just a step in the process. It's a step in the process. And as long as you work the process, you won't be doing that forever. You will not be doing that forever. We're not going for it. Message loud and clear. We're not going for it. I'm not going for it. I will not go for it. I will switch until I can't switch anymore. I will do something different until I can't do something different anymore. And I'm not going to be using the term, oh, I've tried everything, because that's, that hasn't happened. I will try everything, though. I will. I will try everything. I don't mind switching. I don't mind trying anything different. Because when you're on the path to, to getting what you want, and you're on the path to being successful, change is necessary. And the word ain't even change, y'all. The word is evolution. Evolution is necessary. I must evolve. I must turn into something else. I must. In order to be the person I want to be, I must turn into something else. I have to. I can't stay the same old Corey. No. This is Corey 3.0. Corey 4.0. Corey 5.0. Corey's always going up. Corey is going up. When you think about Corey, think about him going up. When you look in the mirror, that's confirmation that you're going up. You are going up. You're not the same person today that you were yesterday. You are not. You are not. I urge you not to be. Because if you're the same person today that you were yesterday, then you've lost a day. You have lost a day. And in this life, we don't have days to give up. Don't give up a day. Don't put something off today that you could have did yesterday. I'm not doing something today that I could have did yesterday. Because that's, that's also giving up a day. I'm not giving up a day. My days are too valuable. My days are too valuable. I can't afford to give up a day. I can't afford to give up a day. I can't afford to have a bad day. I can't afford to have a bad day. You can't afford to have a bad day. Because you have people depending on you. When you have people depending on you, you can't afford to have a bad day. Bad days are non-existent. Yeah, I don't feel the same every day. But I can't afford to have a bad day. I can't afford it. I'm consistent. I'm dependable. I must win. These are characteristic of, characteristics of a winner. I must win. What I'm going through, you won't know about. You won't know what I'm going through. You will never know or understand what I'm going through. You won't know because I'll be the same person every day. You will not sense a difference in me. You will not sense a difference in me. And it's not because I'm trying to I'm trying to deceive you. It's because I'm being consistent. I'm being grown. I'm being a man. Men handle their business and I have no problem handling my business. My problem 
It's not your problem. I don't push my problems off on other people. I'm not that person. You looking for that person? You don't have them in me. You're looking at the wrong person. I don't do that. I don't gossip. There's no need for me to be telling you about him, her, she, him. No. There's no need for me to do that. Because if I'm thinking about all them people, then I'm not thinking about number one. I'm not thinking about myself. Think about you. Cut the gossip. Think about you. I don't even want to hear you gossiping about nobody. Don't even walk up on me telling me about she, him, it. No, I'm good on that. I'm in my own zone over here. I have my own thought process going on. I have my own I have my own success journey. There's no need for me to be thinking about something negative or something irrelevant, something that's not going to help me attain my goal. Leave it where it's at. Leave it where it's at. And that's the type of energy I'm going to give off. Because as soon as you start talking about that, I'm going to redirect you and start talking about something else. And you may think it's rude, but I don't think it's rude. I think it's helping you get focused and think about the person you need to think about, which is you. Think about you and your situation. Be too busy to think about somebody else's situation. And that's not being mean or negative. That's being focused. That's going hard. I will not let up. I'm on 10 right now. I stay on 10. I'm on 10. I'm on 10. I will not let up. Oh, you think I'm crazy? Good. That means I'm doing something right. You're supposed to think I'm crazy. I got to be crazy to achieve everything I want to achieve. This life ain't for normal people. Normal people don't get everything they want. You can wake up and do nothing and be normal. That's why it's so easy. I don't want to be normal. I'm running from that. I want to eradicate normal. I don't even know what the word means, normal. Normal, I guess, being like everybody else. Wow, that's somewhere I don't want to be. I don't want to be like everybody else. Everyone else doesn't have this drive. Everyone else may stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. I mean these words. You can hear these words, just know that I mean them. I mean them deeply. I mean them deeply. There's a new generation coming up, and I don't mind being the role model. I don't mind being the role model because it's not an act with me. It's a lifestyle. We have to make it a lifestyle, y'all. We have to make it a lifestyle. When it's a lifestyle, it's not fake. When it's a lifestyle, you can keep it up. When a life, when it's a lifestyle, it's not hard. This is just something that I do. I get up. I go to work. I think. I execute. I work out. It's not hard for me to work out because that's a part of my life. It's not hard for me to do that. That's just a part of my life. That's just another thing on my list of things to do. I don't have to fight myself to get up and go in the gym, to lift weights, to run. I don't have to fight myself to do that stuff because it's already inbred in me that that has to be done. That's just another thing that I check off my list from day to day. From day to day. You are a giant. You are a giant. And you know what? Giants don't let small thinking bother them. Giants don't let petty situations bother them. Giants step on those. I step on small thoughts. I step on petty situations. That's just an opportunity for me to show everyone that I'm a giant. Bring something small to me and I'll show you that I'm a giant. Bring me something small and you're going to be mad because you're going to see that you're dealing with a giant. It's nothing to a giant. Be a giant. And it don't matter your stature. You don't have to be a big man to be a giant. You don't have to be a big woman to be a giant. You can be three foot three, four foot four with the mentality of a real lion. And that's what I love. Have that lion mentality. When lions wake up, they hunt. They hunt. They are running. They are running. Run when you wake up. When you get up, Don't be stagnant. 
wake up running. Wake up running towards it. Yeah, I'm going to wake up running. I'm going to wake up running. You know why? Because I want to eat. A lion wants to eat. So they wake up running. They wake up running after their prey. And you know why they run after their prey? Because they know that their prey isn't built like them. They know that eventually their prey will stop. Don't stop. Because the lion won't stop until it has its meal. The lion won't stop until it has its meal. You don't stop. Go get your meal. Go get your meal. If you don't go get your meal, guess what? You're going to be hungry. You're going to be hungry. And I'm not going for hunger. Me personally, I'm not going for it. I'm not going for hunger. I'm healthy. I'm smart. I'm capable. So why should I be hungry? At this point, being hungry is a choice. And you know what? I choose not to be hungry. I choose to eat. I choose to eat well. I choose to eat what I choose to eat because I'm in position to do that. I'm not taking straps. Don't take straps, y'all. Don't be satisfied with straps. Don't give me no straps. <laughs> I want that entree. I want the first dish. <laughs> make my plate like <laughs> make my plate like I'm the I'm the president. Make my plate like I'm the king. Make my plate like I'm a giant. Make my plate like that. I want my plate overflowing. Make my plate the overflow. I need my plate to overflow, y'all. Because I like to eat what I like to eat. <laughs> Don't tease me. Don't give me no sampler. Make me a big plate. I like to eat. I'm here to eat. Be here to eat, y'all. Be here to eat. Be here to eat. If you around me, you know I like to eat. You know I like to eat. Ain't no penny pension. No. Ain't no penny pension. I'm going. To, others know how to treat me. They know how to treat me. I don't even have to describe to you how to treat me. You know why? Because I show you how to treat me by the way I treat myself. You know how to treat me by the way I treat me. So don't come, don't come to me with anything less than that. You see the way I treat myself? Yeah, treat me that way. Treat me that way. And you may ask, well, what, what, what way is that? Treat me like I'm a big deal because I am. You're a big deal. You're a big deal. Don't let nobody numb you down or sit you in the corner because you are a big deal. You stop becoming a big deal the day that you go for that. When you let somebody treat you like you're not a big deal, then you're not. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Be the main course, not a side dish. Be the main course. I am definitely the entree. I'm the entree. Be the entree. <laughs> Not a side dish, not just a side dish. You could throw that side dish with any old entree, but you can't put this entree with another entree because I'm number one. I'm number one. Be number one. We number one, y'all. We number one. This life thing is fun. It's fun. That's when you know you really like that. When things get tough, you have fun. Like I say, you'll never know what's going on with a real man, with a real woman. And it's not because they're hiding it or they're putting on. It's because they're being consistent and they're not pushing their problems off on others. Instead of instead of wanting sympathy from others, like we're searching for solutions. We're making things better. We're making things better. And we may not be making them better at the rate we want to, but we're making them better. Moving forward feels better than anything. Progress feels better than anything. It feels better than anything. Let's make things better. Let's stop let's stop pushing problems off. We will not do that anymore. We will not do that. I won't push a problem off. I won't procrastinate. No. I'm not doing something today that I should have had done yesterday. I'm not doing that. I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. Energy. We must have energy. Because people can tell when you're dead. People can tell when you are dead. So you must be energetic. 
And that just shows people how much you want it. Your energy, a lot of times, people will match. So if you're dead, you know what? They're going to come to you dead. Because your energy is down. But your energy is up. Then you know what? They have to match your energy. Because it don't make no sense. I'm coming to you down and you up. We're going to be on two different volumes. We're going to be on two different tone lines. And you know what? In order for this thing to work, we got to be on the same same line. We need to be in unison. Our energy needs to be in unison. We need to be right there together. Right there together. We must attract those who are different than we are. I was just telling a friend, why do all your friends have the same skills and gifts that you have? That's not the way. That's not the way. Attract something different. Attract something different. If you're my partner, I don't need you being able to do the same thing that I can do. Because if that's the case, then one of us is useless. One of us is useless. And one of us is secretly trying to trying to one up the other. Because we do the same thing. So since we do the same thing, secretly we're in competition with each other. And we don't even know it. Because we do the same thing. And that's why I say attract something different. Attract something different. If I have these set of skills, I don't need somebody else with these set of skills. I need somebody else with skills that I don't have. I need someone with skills that I don't have. And the reason why I need them with skills that I don't have is because when you and others have different skills, you're not trying to stab each other in the back. You need each other. You have a certain you have a particular set of skills and I have a particular set of skills. So this person isn't secretly waiting on me to the 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 fall or have a lapse lapse moment to one up me and get in my position. No. They're not waiting on me to do that. When we have skills each other need, we feed off each other. We feed off each other. It's no need to come. It's no it's no competition there. Now it's just by handling business and using the skills that we have together, bringing that together and fusing that together and making that work. That energy. So stop attracting people with the same skill set as you. Stop hanging out with people that can do the same stuff that you can do, because you know what? When you need to get something done outside of the outside the realm of that, you're going to be lost because all y'all in the room can do the same thing. And that just sounds like a recipe for disaster to me. It has to be something different, y'all. It has to be something different. I'm not going for it. I reiterate, I'm not going for it. And I'm dead serious. So don't thank Corey going for it because I'm not. I'm not going for it. I would not go for anything less than what I believe I deserve. And I believe I deserve everything. I deserve everything because I put that kind of work in. I put that kind of sacrifice in. I deserve it. I will put it on the line. How much it costs? Cool. I will pay it because I know I can get it back. We only spend what we know we can get back. We don't spend money that we we, we feel like will never come back. I spend it. I don't mind spending it because I know it's going to come back. Two, three, four times over. I'm like that, y'all. Be like that. Don't be afraid. Be the aggressor. I'm the aggressor. The aggressor sets the tempo. I set the tempo. And everybody else follow. Apply that to your life. Set the tempo. Are you setting the tempo or are you following somebody else's tempo? What are you doing? I'm asking you, what are you doing? Are you setting the tempo and letting others follow? Or are you trying to keep up with somebody else's tempo? I'm not doing that. I'm setting the tempo over here. I set the tone. I set the tone. Man, once again, man, this is Corey Thomas with Realer Than Most. I'm out. Realer Than Most podcast with Corey Thomas. 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 With Corey Thomas.